Attack of the Parasite shirts and hoodies are still available for a limited time. They are gone March 18th, so make sure you grab yours, link in bio. Welcome back to another wonderful review, guys. And no, I will not stop making corny jokes. I'm recording this on my birthday, so I get to make all the corny jokes I want. Today we're having a look at the Wonder Artistic Models Velociraptor. Here we have the Velociraptor from Wonder Artistic Models. This was a fun model to build just for how different the posture and presentation of it is. This was one of the first models that Simon engineered for the Wonder series. And if you want to get one for yourself, I'm excited to announce that my coupon code spinodude wonder all in caps, now provides 10% off your order. One of the coolest things about this Velociraptor is how you can choose to build it in one of two ways, in a standing running pose or in a dynamic pouncing pose, like how I chose to build it here. The kit comes with the necessary parts for both versions of the figure. You just have to choose which one you want to go for. You could even swap between both technically by just replacing the right leg on the Velociraptor and removing the display rod from the base but the neck would be at a slightly awkward angle because of the different build for the pouncing pose. Once again, the head on this one features an articulated jaw, but there are quite a few other adjustable parts on this one as well. The arms can be rotated forward and back, and the legs can be detached and reattached similarly to the head on the Wonder Styracosaurus, so you can adjust the angles on them. This model so far just feels like one of the most customizable Wonder kits I've experienced yet. There was a lot of thought put into it. Detail-wise, I love the shaping of the parts on this one. The head looks great, I love the inclusion of the gastralia on the underside of the torso, the long tail is absolutely wonderful, and one of my favorite parts is just the subtle character to the posing of the toes on each of the feet. I love how the sickle claw is positioned on them, and how the rest of the claws curl backwards. Overall, even for being one of Wonder's older kits, this one has a lot of character and really surprised me in person when I built it. Some of the parts were really loose on this one when I built it initially, however, but a little super glue secured them into place very easily. It's a very impressive display piece overall. In case you're wondering how big this one is, it's just about 17 inches long and at its highest point is about 8 inches tall. And for a quick comparison, here is the Velociraptor with still my current favorite wonder kit, the Carnotaurus. And Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> That's going to do it for this review, guys. Thank you to Simon for sending this one out to me, as always. If you want to get a Velociraptor or any other Wonder Kit of your own, make sure to use coupon code SPINODUDE-WONDER, all in caps, at the checkout to save 10% on your next order. Thank you guys for watching, take care, and bye bye